Okay, here we are, NAM 2012, and we're at the Nord booth. Uh, we're looking at another new instrument that will be out uh, shipping in February. Uh, probably see it in the stores around March. Um, we're here with Richard, and he's going to show us the Nord C20 uh, organ here. So uh, let's have a listen and a look. Sure. Uh, this, this was modeled after the Hammond organ. Much of the stuff is, is a replication. Drawbars work in real time. It takes a while to get used to them. Uh, you have a bass pedals, which I'm not using today, but you can take this button and attach anything you would have done on bass pedals to the left hand. Uh, so we have percussion unit, we have a Leslie simulator. Um, let me just play a little something for you, get an idea. It sounds like the real deal. As I move over to this bank, I'll get the percussion. Leslie here. Give me an idea. Get that loop off. There you go. Um, so you, again, if you're a pedal player, you have access to the pedals. We unfortunately don't have a subwoofer at the show because of the noise restrictions, so you really can't get the feel of the bass on it. Uh, uh, maybe it'll sound better like this. Uh, but this part, all this stuff to me, to my ears, sounds like the real deal. It's the Jimmy Smith sound. Let me ask you, uh, I assume you got um, MIDI out on this so you can actually record performances via MIDI and yes. your draw bars are all uh, um, controllers? Yes, they are. Uh, I should also add, we also have models of Farfisas. Vox organ as well. I don't know how much use people will have for that, but uh, yeah. Uh, but I love the, the live Leslie effect. By the way, there isn't a Leslie simulator that, that they're also selling separately. But for now, uh, the, the stereo effect sounds like the real deal, even within the organ itself. So. Probably a little bit hard to hear on here, but yeah, definitely nice. Yeah. Uh, what else can I tell you? There's, you can add distortion right here on the drive section. So if I'm doing, you hear the percussion. I can take it even more. So you hear the. It's a little bit too much. So you have you control a lot of parameters. Uh, you have free speed. We have the rotary speaker model. Uh, twin, probably twin reverb. Sounds much smaller and dirtier, and the probably JC jazz amp, I would think. Uh, take down the drive and put it back on rotary. If I want to go away from the percussion, I simply go to this. Sorry. So all that real time live, just like a real Hammond. By the looks of it here, uh, it looks like the um, the pedal is an option. Is that are you aware of that or? Uh, I'm not aware of that. You should check with Pablo. I would think it probably be would. I would think it would come with the organ. So you can either probably get the organ because it looks like it because it, it has its own number down here, the Nord uh, pedal keys uh, 27. So probably be. you can get the organ separately, or or you can add pedals if you play them. Could be. I can't imagine getting a hammer without a volume pedal, though. I mean, you need to. You need it to control. No, I was talking. I, oh, oh, that's attached. Oh, I'm to sorry. It. You mean the pad, the bass pedal? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I believe it's an option. Yes. Okay. okay. I don't know. I don't know how many guys play bass pedals anymore, other than Joey. Ah, you know. Joey DeFrancisco. <laughs> Francesco. <laughs> exactly. All right. Uh, well, thank you, Richard. I really appreciate my it. My pleasure. Thank you much. Yeah. Maybe by Sunday I'll learn how to play this thing. <laughs>